I remember the day Richie shared his uh, vision with me. He said, I think what this area is missing is a arcade, like an actual place where people can come, play video games, have fun, and you know, nothing matters. It's just kind of like it was when we were kids growing up, you know? These games were everything back in the 80s. It's the coolest thing we ever seen. One game turned into another, which turned into another, and then another, and the games had completely taken over the house. At one point, my wife said, you know what, we should, we should share this. His, his superstar was born. When you come to Richie Knuckles Arcade, it's as if you went into a time portal. An arcade will fall. You don't want to know, Faithy. You don't want to know. A hero will rise. Hundreds of classic arcade gamers flock to Richie Knuckles Arcade this weekend. The King of Arcade's video game documentary is in prime position to steal our love and attention. Nothing should ever stop you. Every obstacle is an opportunity. I love when filmmakers go to unexpected places and find stories that grab you and don't let go. Starring Ralph H. Bear. People just have no feeling for how magic all this stuff is. Walter Day. I want you to appreciate that this, this is not an average situation. Eugene Jarvis. <laughs> Billy Mitchell. And Richie Knuckles. <laughs> the king of arcade. But the most impressive part of this to me is, there's an arcade in New Jersey that still has a Qbert machine. The Richie Knuckles Arcade, one of the biggest arcade phenomena most likely in the world.